hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll edit a photo which is sent by my brother photographer uh, johnny uh, and uh, i'll edit that photo that is an indoor portrait he took photo from a indoor okay that's good today i'll edit this one the problem of this photo is that uh, the face color and the hand color is not same uh, for that uh, you have to be careful about that and that's why I just am making this image in a, another layer which is by pressing ctrl J and here is lots of chromatic elevation in this photo that's why I'll go to filter and camera filter at first and go to the I'm zooming this one and I'll reduce this effect and go to going to the HSL option and going to the saturation and reduce this one like that okay and hit the ok button okay let's get after that just uh, select going to the pen tool and select the hand option basically select carefully when you are just selecting this one okay after selecting this one just go to the right button and just make selection this one okay make another copy of this layer when you are copying this one just press this layer and press ctrl j okay after that these are the copy of this area the hand actually okay after that i am going to the adjustment layer and going to the i'll go to the variance options and make it mask and i'll reduce the worm of the saturation or saturation of this one and variance like that okay after that going to the adjustment layer again and going to the level and mask this one and adjust the color okay copy and ctrl j and i'll take this one the upper set okay. same same thing i'll apply here and create clipping mask it will apply in this hand only and this one like that but now the skin color and the hand color same not exactly but a uh, little bit closer just uh, adjust with another editing okay making it group making it another merge of that okay before one and after one okay and then I'll go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter I'm zooming in here is noise actually I'll go to the sharpening option and add some noise reducer and going to the color and the detail I'll just give like that uh, add some sharpness okay from the basic panel I'll reduce highlights press the alter button when you are getting dots all the con dots gone just leave it and whitens there's some dots in appearing skin just leave it and blacks when you're getting some dots just leave it okay basic correction is done and noise gone but uh, I should just add some another thing like that okay. and add some detail don't do too much noise reducer otherwise it will be blurry okay and then in a variance of clarity i'll add some clarity like 16 percent and from the hsl option the luminance of the blue i'll reduce like that and saturation a little bit uh, that's good 
and okay let's get after that I'm going to the camera calibration and making it like that and add some primary beam 22 percent okay and after that going to the effects and add some vignette effect here okay and hit the okay button one thing is that here is uh, too much light uh, but i don't want to here okay i'm going to the adjustment layer and gradient and take the last one and adjust the gradient from here why I am doing that uh, before that uh, when audience uh, watching the photo at first the look is going over there that's why I'm just adding this one okay after that I'm going to the filter and place embedded option here is my some light collection I'll add this light okay and just rotate this one like that or this one is good I'm making it bigger more bigger i want to apply this one but uh, i want to just uh, making a feel like that uh, the flare is coming from here okay and blending mode in skin after that go to the filter and go to the blur and make it go and blur a little bit let's get the okay button okay from the adjustment layer go to the curves and just select here some gamma that's good and select all the layers making it group making it march after march this one go to the fill go to the filter and the uh, nick collection color effects pro okay from the nick collection i'm using the cross processing and here are lots of filter um, which filter do you want you can add that I think this one is good and I'm just making it 27% and hit the ok saving the image ok I'm re just uh, reducing the opacity a little bit select this two layer making it group making it mesh after make another copy of this one and make it the vivid light and go to the filter and go to the other and high pass From the high pass, make one. One is okay. Make the other button. It will increase the sharpness of this photo. Okay, let's see what was the previous one. This one is our previous photo, and now present one. Previous present. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video today. If you have any kind of question or query, please do comment in my video comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much.